have to be positive. You have to think, yes, this is a goal. I'm going to score right now. Okay, a lot of us get in this situation and we're like, uh, I don't know what to do. And it's hesitation and he gets too close, he cuts down our angles and we make it easier on him. Okay, so what I want you to think in your mind is think, yes, this is a goal. Focus on the finishing. Don't think about anything negative. Don't think about the goalkeeper is going to save it. Don't think about, I don't know what to do. You know what to do because I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. I want to give you three options when you're in this situation. Play me well. Okay, so when you're here, yeah, if you really want, you can blast it as hard as you want, but that's not really going to increase your chances of scoring in these one-on-one -on -one situations. So first, what I want you to think about is just passing it into a corner. Okay, so when I come in here, if he's giving me a little angle, if I can see space in one of the corners, I want to pass it there. So remember in the passing tutorial, playing the ball, when we talked about the shape of your pass. Okay, so if I'm shaping my pass this way with inside curl and I'm trying to put it to that corner, that's pretty easy for him to save. As opposed to if I'm shaping it here, so it's almost going outside of the post and I'm putting it into that corner. That's going to increase my chances of scoring that type of finish. Okay, same thing goes if you want to use the outside of your foot. Okay, so if I wanted to use the outside, if I'm going that way, that's easy for him to save if he's ready. Okay, so instead, if I wanted to go there with my left foot, I would probably use the outside of my left, or I could use the, or it's the inside of my left, or I could use the outside of my right. Here, if I want to go to this side, yes, I could use the outside of my right into that corner, or I could use the outside of my left, something like that. So think about the shape of your finish, like we did in the passing tutorial, to increase your chances of scoring that type of finish. The next uh, type of finish I want you to think about in this situation is when you're trying to create an angle, but he's coming out and it's a little too tight and he's going down to the ground and you're gonna do something like that, go over him, okay? So he's gonna come out with real intensity, he's trying to slide you, try to take you out. Hey, the ball. Okay, he's coming out and when he gets too close, that's when I wanna go over. If you wanna improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. I almost want to fake like it's a shot. Fake like I'm going to almost like blast it at him or try to put it under him. Play the ball. Okay, so it's like I'm here and I'm getting him to commit to the shot and then I'm flicking it over him. Okay, that's a really good finish in one-on-one -on -one situations. The last thing I want to talk about is going around the keeper. So playing the ball. So say I receive it, I'm running at pace, he's running out to meet me. Again, it's just a touch away and pass it into the back of the net. Okay, so you're gonna have to get your timing right. If I do it too late, play him again. So if I hesitate in this position and I do it too late, he's gonna win the ball like that. So I wanna do it a bit early. And again, like the fake shot on the chip, if I can get him to commit a bit, so maybe that is a, a fake shot like that, and then I'll just pass it in the corner. You wanna to try to get him to go down to ground early so you can touch it around him and finish the goal. So those are three ideas to think about when you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the keeper. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field, and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.